we will try now a different approach so we will not um, use FIR filters but we use an impulse um, infinite impulse response filter an IIR fractional delay design so here in this paper here this article from the IEEE we found a way to design fractional delay IIR OPS filters so you can take a look here you can download uh, this uh, PDF file and in this paper here it gives us a way to implement this function so this function will take as an argument the fractional delay and it will return a denominator and a numerator of a transfer function so all this here you find based on this um, article here and we can test this so we will test our fractional delay so suppose we want a fractional delay of 5.5 samples so we will give it um, this function we define here the argument 5.5 which is the delay in samples it will give us back it will return a denominator and a numerator and then we can use the scipy signal uh, L filter and we will filter our test signal and we'll give the denominator and the nominator and here we have our test signal and then the output of the filter which is a delay of um, 5.5 samples and we can see that the extrapolated zero co crossing and the delayed signal would be indeed around 5.5 samples and we also see that compared to uh, our previous um, attempt we have now fewer uh, ripples yeah? so we can see uh, the frequency response of this uh, filter here so we will again use uh, scipy signal frac c and we are plotting here the frequency response so here you can see the scale so this is basically zero with some rounding errors and we obtain a nice impulse response so a set of coefficients 8 mean and the frequency response so we have here that the magnitude is practically precisely a 0 dB and this means that again factor of 1 and we also see the phase plot at the normalized frequency and we can calculate if we uh, use this here we have 5.4 which is almost uh, our 5.5 uh, samples so this is uh, another approach so this time we are using an IIR all pass filters so it means that we have um, gain factor of one yeah. and we can for example uh, have an application of uh, such a filter in stereo source separation with two sources and two microphones you know, if we want to cancel one of the two sources uh, we can model the precise delay from one microphone to the other to be able to remove the signal by subtraction and you find uh, this application uh, by Professor Schuller the first time domain stereo audio source separation using fractional delay uh, filters and it will use this one application of this uh, design here